20 small kitchen makeover ideas. You must have a reason for typing 20 small kitchen makeover ideas into your search engine. Maybe you find creative inspiration from the way a kitchen is designed, or maybe you want to extend your cooking area, or you simply want your kitchen to look brighter and comfier. Here are some ideas for that kitchen makeover. Number 20. One Tone The vintage stove is so charming that even when the environment looks more current and fashionable, your focus will shift to the stove. The stove is certainly not something to remove while during a makeover. What you can actually do is give the other elements the same color with the stove. You may repaint those surfaces with highlight colors that have the same hue as the stove. You should also remember to change the knob so it suits your entire design. Number 19. Painting without sanding Most do-it-yourself projects require that you do some sanding if you're working with wooden materials. It is impossible to skip this process and still get a perfect result. For this, you'll need a rinse substitute, primer, deglosser, and paint. First, unmount the cabinet doors and clean them thoroughly with the rinse substitute. Then apply deglosser and later a thin layer of primer after the deglosser has dried. Then paint the door and mount it back in place. The result is quite pleasant. Number 18. Concrete Countertop you can give the top of your counter a new look using a concrete mix. Get the concrete mixture ready along with carnauba wax, sealer, and sandpaper. Layer the old countertop surface and sides with thin concrete mixture and allow it to dry. Smoothen the countertop with the sandpaper and then add another layer. Repeat the layering process to give five layers. Apply sealer and carnauba wax with a brush to seal the concrete. This process may take a while because of repeated layering. Number 17. Peninsula and Corbel Cover your peninsula with planked wood so it gets a new look. Protect the edges with adjustable mold trim and use nail guns to set the planks in its place. Sand the plank and fill in the nail holes before painting. After the paint dries, add wood glue to the corbels and start installing them immediately. Set them on both ends as if they support the peninsula surface. Number 16. Countertops for Butchers It's very easy to cut your budget for countertop, but you have to invest your time instead. Purchase a butcher's block from the store to fit your kitchen size. Then seal both the surface and bottom of the block with a sealer liquid to protect it from heat, scratches, and moisture. If you want to paint the block, do it and apply sealer too. Next, you have to cut the area to the sink and also join the corner. Lastly, install the corner in its place with a fastener. Number 15. Functional Kitchen When you move to a new house, the kitchen arrangement could be awkward and not satisfying, sometimes with an oversized island in the middle. You can make the space more functional and good-looking. The basic rule is that the sink, stove, and fridge should be in one continuous line. As for the oversized island, you can remodel it by making spaces for throwing garbage. The idea is to simply wipe the leftover foods or vegetables literally under the table. To make things look better, you can coordinate the color of your kitchen and island countertop. Number 14. White and Gray Cabinet Makeover When you purchase cabinets from the store, they usually have similar colors. Lighten them up a bit with a white and gray tone. Ask for a cabinet transformer on your next visit to the store. It's almost all that you need. Take off all the doors, starting with the cabinets. Apply a layer of the deglosser solution and apply the first white coat immediately. Let it sit for three hours and then go on to the second layer. Repeat the process for the bottom cabinets as well. Number 13. Kitchen Refacing it involves replacing the cabinet doors with one of a different style. In the process, there will be no kitchen resetting. It's an improvement for cabinets only. Start by purchasing your desired cabinet doors. You'll also need to repaint the body of the cabinet, so buy a similar paint tone with the new door. Unmount the old door and paint the body of the cabinet first. You can then mount the new cabinet doors. Number 12. Charming Molding if you love your current cabinets, you can simply add molding just to upgrade the look. It will not take away from the original beauty of the cabinets. You need molding wood, which you can easily get at the store. Then get your ruler and take measurements to align with the cabinet. 
make sure you mark the area where you want the molding to be attached. Try to arrange the molding and glue it once you're satisfied with the result. Lastly, repaint the cabinet doors and enjoy the upgrade. Number 11. Fancy Range Hood If you use a built-in stove, then you'll have a range hood installed with it. It functions as a fan, keeping the stove cool. Most range hoods come with a trim design. You can upload the look with another trimming trick. Like always, you need to remove the old molding, sand the wood, and create a trapezoidal shape sketch. Cover the marks of the old molding with paint, then attach a new molding and beadboard wallpaper. Number 10. Chippy Table If you happen to notice that your dining room table pedestals are chippy, you can also take this opportunity to make the dining table fancier. Replace the legs with fancier ones. Use a half-size table if you prefer a private dinner. Give it a farmhouse look with several wall shelves on top of the table. Fill it with delicious spices and fancy decorations. Number 9. Pattern Countertop The simple makeover could start from the countertops. Again, you have to block the colors and pattern. Having two colors or two patterns in a single item will ruin the whole set. To solve the problem, you could stain the countertop with granite color. Since the countertop would be the main focus, use dark paint on the upper and lower cabinets. Pick the tone from the nearby hue of the floor. For the tap, it's suggested to pick silver hardware. Number 8. Working Table to Kitchen Island Create your own kitchen island instead of spending too much money to buy one. All you need is your old desk, cedar wood planks, and some paint. Since you're renovating the whole look, attach wallpaper with a similar tone on the bottom board. Tear up the top board and replace it with cedar plank as the new countertop. Stain it and protect the color with a sealer. Attach a hook on one side to hang your kitchen mittens and other equipment. You may also install casters to help you move it easily. Number 7. Expand the Island if your current kitchen island is not big enough for you to do all the cooking preparation, then expand your island by applying your new concept of a table. You'll get additional space on both sides. Pull out the countertops and drawers so that you can build the frame. Make sure it adds equal size on both wings and has wide boards on the top. Support the wings with fancy legs and the board with chic trimming. Number 6. Space for Oven If you get a new oven as a gift after your kitchen has been arranged, you would need a nice place with no obstructions to put it. Make use of the space under your extended kitchen island. If you need to build or purchase a shelf that fits under the island, make two rows on the shelf, one for the oven and the other for the cookbook or baking equipment. Number 5. Bright Classic People who like old comfort will definitely prefer this. Start with the cabinets that are mounted horizontally on the wall. Pick a new color tone for them. Pair it up with a two-tone lighter backsplash. For the floor, use brick color and install the tiles diagonally. Put two tall chairs with classic pattern seating and low back in the dining area. Light up the room with a candle pendant light and place a flower vase on the table. Number 4. Peeking through the glass this allows you to display your kitchen utensils. Remove your cabinet door and cut off the center square of your cabinet door. Measure some plexiglass and cut it. Attach the cut glass to the cabinet door by using a silicone gel. Allow the glass and gel to dry. Cut the trim molding to fit the size of the glass. Glue it on the sides and hide the raw edges. Number 3. Open Shelving Pantry Sometimes when cooking, you may need to go all the way to the fridge just to get the spices. You can fix this by building an open pantry. All you need is planked wood, oak stain, and an L bracket. Start by mounting the L bracket on the wall to set the place for the wood. Then stain the wood with oak color and let it dry before installing it on the L bracket. You can now arrange your spices in the pantry, and you can label the spices to make them easy to locate. Number 2. Cozy and Preppy Make your kitchen look more fancy and homey by installing new lighting and hardware. For instance, you can replace the current lamp with a pendant lamp and make the faucet slightly copper with a shining silver. 
You may also need to replace old cabinets with a better one. Replace old cabinets with a cupboard so that you can get extra space for storage. Also extend your window area close to the ceiling to get more access to natural lighting. Number 1. Warm Lighting For this idea, you need about three sets of lighting to get the desired result. You first install the lighting inside the cabinet that has a glass frame. Then you place the second lighting above the sink and countertops, focused directly in the center. The third lighting will hang from the ceiling. Paint the lower cabinet with a warm orange tone and use black tiles for the flooring. Now sit back and enjoy your finished makeover. There you go, I hope you found some helpful ideas here. Like this video, share it, or even better, comment on it if you have a suggestion. And before you go, hit the subscribe button below this video if you're new to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you again later.